All right, guys, Steven here, and in this video, I'm gonna do a little coverage of this big man weekend pro show that happened this past weekend. And this is your top six right here. As you can see, it's not a high quality video. I cannot provide anything better. This is all I could find. And uh, I am just waiting for that moment in the future when you're gonna say, Oh, I remember in my day we used to watch some horrible quality videos. And I really hope that in the future we're gonna watch. 4K videos of all shows, I mean, how expensive can it be to be provided? I guess it's just stupid because bodybuilding is the, the, like the only sport that really, really needs high quality video footage because that's what the sport is all about, you know, watching physiques and judging by those small details that you cannot really see on this kind of video footage. I mean, you can see who has what kind of shape, who has what kind of genetics, who has symmetry, who was conditioned, who was not. But if you compare the first three places, who deserve to be first, second or third, you cannot really see those fine details in this kind of footage. And I guess they don't really care about that as much. I mean, if you want to see it, you should go to a show and pay for the ticket, right? But, I mean, most people cannot go, like, to, to do all these shows all around the world. So, just like all sports, like basketball and football, we should have very, very good, high-quality footage provided for us. But we don't, and uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. As you can see here, uh, you have Josh Lenartowitz, James Hollingshead, Akeem Williams, Rafael Brandau, and a couple of more guys. So, here is Rafael, and as you can see, he looked great, like classical Raphael. Um, the thing with him, his problem, I would say, his problem is his size. He's very young yet, so he needs some time to put on some more mass to be competitive against these other guys because they're all beasts, right? And his conditioning in this show, it may have been better than that of Josh Lenartowitz and Akim Williams. I think it was, but he doesn't have that muscle maturity that comes with years years of doing bodybuilding and he doesn't have he wasn't as conditioned as he was in a couple of shows before and then you have josh josh was great um much better package than Arnold classic ohio but i don't think it was much better than australia although he definitely looked hard he looked grainy you know he has that maturity even though he's not that old but he definitely does look matured uh, he's very grainy hard and that's why he won. I mean, he has the mass. He has a lot of mass. But in some poses, he doesn't look that big as much as he could. So, I used to be a huge fan of his physique. But right now, I can see that his potential is not that great. Um, some poses of his, like, side chest it just looks bad. And also, like, back double bicep, it's not that good. And from the front, when he spreads the lats, you can say that he, he has amazing back. But from the back, it doesn't look that good, in my opinion. And then you had Akim Williams at the third spot. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of Akim. Um, his physique just looks a bit blocky. He does have small waist, but I don't like the, the, the shape of his quads. Um, the, the, I don't know, the shape of his chest and his back. Pretty much his whole body is kind of round, like a tank. I don't really like it. He's never conditioned. Almost never. Like The only reason why he places so high is because of his enormous mass. And that's why he, he's doing great. But that's I don't like to be to see that being rewarded. I mean, I know judges can't do anything but reward it. I mean, you cannot lose if you're this big against some other guys. But it is what it is. And here are some high-quality photos of Josh. So you can see that he was in shape. He definitely deserved to win. No doubt about that, but he could have been a, bit, a little bit sharper, especially in his glutes, lower back and hamstrings. I mean, that's the, the parts where you usually hold the biggest amount of water and fat. But overall, he looked great, and with his newly added mass and this kind of conditioning, which is much better from a couple of months ago, he looked really, really good, and he definitely deserved to win this show. James Hollingshead, I think that this guy should have placed second, but he placed third. Um, he was very, very conditioned. Compared to Akeem Williams, he was much more conditioned, but he was a little bit smaller than him. I would like to see him get a bit bigger, but he's grainy as hell. He's veiny. He's dry like, like crazy. And uh, I love this guy. I love his personality. I love his presentation. His body has great genetics and everything. It's just going to be, you know, a matter of time when you're going to see him do great. But I believe this guy is going to be top three, top five at the Mr. Olympia in a few years. 
and you have a Kim Williams who was actually second and um, he wasn't at his sharpest by any means he's huge he's humongous he was okay defined but not not good enough i mean especially from this back lat spread you can see his glutes are holding a lot of water and this pose as well i mean look at him he could be a little bit sharper and he could crack the top seven or eight the mr olympia probably because he has a lot of muscle like a lot but i really hate to see mass simply being awarded without perfect conditioning Anyways, 4th and 6th place for a couple of other guys who are not super known and popular in the fitness industry, so I'm not gonna even name them. You can check it out if you want. Anyways, 5th place was Rafael Brandel. Again, I don't think you could see him do better than that, because he's not as big as these guys. So once he brings that size and conditioning, which he already has, but he could also be a tiny bit more sharper, especially in the glutes again, but he was more defined than, uh, I think, than Josh and Akeem. Maybe not more than James, but he didn't have enough size to compete against these guys. And we're going to see him do great in the future, I'm sure about that. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding-related videos, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.